Hello! How's it going? Welcome back to another video. Uh, obviously today I have a special guest. I don't know how long she's gonna be willing to be on camera for because she actually hates being on camera, but I got her to sit kind of next to me. She's very excited right now because today is her video and also I should preface, I'm filming this on the day of the 23rd. It's gonna come out on the 24th, so that's why I have the same outfit on as yesterday's video even though it's today that I'm filming. Anyway, it's confusing. She's now laying next to me, but today's video is very special because I gave myself a good Christmas. I gave my family a better Christmas. And so who's left to give the best Christmas? My dog, obviously. If you don't know, Olive is my dog. I've mentioned this so many times within the past month that it's probably crazy if you don't know that she's my dog by now. She's probably my favorite being on this earth. And uh, she's very kind and gentle and crazy sometimes, but I love her nonetheless. So today I thought, how can I give Olive the best Christmas? She's looking at me, you can't really see. Here, let me just... There, her head will peek up on camera a little bit more. But I was like, how can I give Olive the best Christmas? Well, that's easy. I just go out and buy her literally everything ever. So that's what I did. I went out to the store. I went uh, actually through the, the entirety of this month. I went to several different stores. I went to Walmart. I went to Myers. I went to Home Goods. I went to just everywhere. Petco, PetSmart. Anywhere I could find dog stuff, I went and I bought a lot of things. Uh, I say that it's a lot of things. Uh, it actually doesn't look like that much when it's sitting next to me, but there's a lot here. So we're going to go through it. She's going to get some new stuff and be happy, Puppo. She's also laying down really. Oh, hold on. This is just... Oh, if I, you got me so dang cute. Oh, we're gonna go through some of the stuff though and give her some new things and hopefully she's gonna love it and be excited because I think she will. I, you know, no, I know she will. She's gonna be very excited about this. So uh, I'm actually gonna start out with some of the toys, I think, and then go into some other things that I got. And then I'm gonna finish it off with the treats because if I start with the treats, then that's all she's gonna want for the rest of the video. So I have to end with the treats, so yes. But first, let's look at some toys. So the toys are actually what I got the most of just because, um, <laughs> She's already excited. Just because there's, I don't know, there's so many that were very nice. Some are from bark boxes that my mom got. Some I bought myself personally. Uh, there's a lot of sloth toys. If you don't know me, I love sloths. So anytime my family sees a sloth item at stores, they buy it instinctively. So we have a lot of sloth toys. Here's one. We also have this one and this one and this one. Oh, I was like, what? And then these two aren't really Christmassy, but we bought them still. So here's all your sloth toys, Olive. You want to keep them in a pile in front of you. I know at some point in this video, she's just going to start squeaking one of them because she loves the squeakers and toys. That's like her favorite thing. She never chews toys and ruins them. She always just has them on her bed and like squeaks them. Oh, she's discovering the items. Uh, also, I got her this little cute toy pack, which I'm very excited to open now, finally. It just has some fun stuff, some fun squeaker toys and things like that. Oh goodness, she found one. Oh, thank you. You want me to show camera? No, nope, you're just gonna... Oh gosh, Frank's getting involved too. Show him your squeaky pickle. <laughs> she got a squeaky Christmas pickle. It's pretty cool. This. And she also got a little reindeer. And that's pretty much a lot of the toys. Uh, wait, no, we have some more. Also got this sloth, who's pretty... He's pretty epic. I, I feel like he is kind of me because he's chill and he looks like... He looks tired, so that's me. But they like this one. Oh my gosh. And I also got this dinosaur which you can barely see because Olive is in frame. Now, a little backstory about this dinosaur. I actually got a dinosaur for Olive when she was a tiny little baby when I first got her. And it was like, it was a Brachiosaurus, it was purple, it was this exact brand. And we called him Eugene in our house because Eugene is like a really cute name, I feel like, for a purple dinosaur. And she loved Eugene so much and she brought him everywhere. But one day, one of the other dogs got him and ripped him apart. So, <laughs> Frank's getting excited about the toys now too. So, I could never find a replacement Eugene. I probably, if I searched the internet, I could find one. But they still make, the, this brand still makes them. So I got her a different dinosaur. Hopefully she likes this. All right, Olive, you ready to go through some of the other things that we got? Are you excited about this? There's some actually some pretty great things in here. So also, I should say this thing first just because I can't get it. Uh, one of the main things I wanted to get Olive was a bigger bed because a lot of dog beds are more geared towards smaller dogs like my boy Frank right here. Hello little man. For Olive, she's so big, it's it's hard to find beds. So I actually went to Home Goods. There was a sloth bed. I needed to get it, so I bought it for her. So now she has a really big bed. Unfortunately, I was <laughs> unfortunately I was trying to save it for the video, uh, but on the first day I had it, I had it in a bag and she immediately found it and was sniffing it and messing with it and trying to rip it out of the bag. So I put it down and now she sleeps on it constantly. So I mean it's good she likes it, but <laughs> 
I can't really show it in the video. So that's that's another thing I got. Moving on to other special things. I actually also got her this uh, treat bin from Home Goods, which they're very excited. They think they're selling in here. There's nothing in here yet. Uh, but I got this just because one of the main things that I have on my stream is stream points that you can use to like redeem stuff. And one of the biggest things that people like to use is they redeem their points to give Olive a treat. But I realized I don't really have treats for Olive in my room. So I was like, that needs to be a thing. So I got her this bin to put some cookies in for the streams and also just for like in general because she's a good girl so I like to give her treats. <laughs> so I got this as well. <laughs> Next thing I'm super excited about, Olive probably doesn't really care. It's a new collar. She actually has a really nice collar on right now. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Dude, they're running, they're going crazy. They're I told Olive to come lay down next to me and she just was, she was like, okay. And she started walking over and she gave up halfway. So she's literally like right in front of the camera. You can't see her, but I mean, if I, hey, Olive, now you can see her. <laughs> but I got her a new collar. She actually has a nicer, like a pretty nice one on right now. However, her tag got completely busted like immediately. Uh, and it has like this fit bark on it, which is, here I can actually take her collar off. It's meant for like tracking your dog's fitness, which she sleeps a lot of times. She's not very active. If you don't know, my dog has a autoimmune disease, which basically makes her jaw so that it's difficult to open and close. So she, has to have be on medication constantly and it's not really fun so it doesn't make her really want to move around some days are better than others and she likes to sprint around and have a good time but a lot of days she's very calm and just wants to like hang out and chill and eat food so that's the kind of dog she is oh my goodness don't knock the camera over but yes i got her new collar with a new tag and everything and it looks really really nice it says olive it's very cute i love this collar you can't see it but she has a new collar on she's just like licking her arm and like chilling she's also wearing a matching bandana to what my sweater is today but you can't see that either because she's refusing to be in frame she's like i'm just here for the toys and the treats i don't really care about being on camera you will once i get the treats out though moving on to the treats speaking of which first things first i got her a nine pound box of milk bones she's very excited about these it was funny because all my other dogs really hate milk bones so i never understood the hype around them like why they're such a popular brand and so i was like Oh, I don't really know if I want to get her, but she actually loves like crunchy cookies despite the fact that her mouth constantly hurts. So, I mean, here you want one. I feel like you deserve one. You've been waiting patiently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, all that waiting and being on camera is worth it. I got a milk bone. And then, uh, this is actually what I'm going to use to fill up that treat bin, by the way, just in, in case you're wondering. But then, we also got, to help with her jaw, something that I like to do is get like chewier treats so that she's constantly working it because it's not necessarily a lot of times that her jaw is actually in pain or locked up or anything it's just that she's so nervous to open it because it, it hurts sometimes that even on the good days she refuses to open her mouth because she doesn't want it to hurt so in order to help it you know enforce healthy jaw habits i got one of these which is weird because I never really get these for my dogs just because they always argue over them and are mean about them. But I got her one to see how she likes it. She looks very excited right now. So I'll probably have to open this off camera. And also, in case you're wondering, I'm not gonna let her have this unless I'm watching. I feel like every dog parent should know that, like that you don't give them a chewy or a bone unless you're watching them. But I thought I should put that out there just in case anybody's like, you're not gonna give that to her without watching. I am gonna watch. It's. I just wanted to show it on camera and talk about it a bit. You're not getting this till later. Yeah, I'm sorry, Olive. But yeah, that's pretty much the bulk of it. There are a few things that I can't show on camera, just like, as I said, the bed and different things here and there that I got, just because that would take too long and things like that. Like, this, I'm, I have a blanket on my lap. That's kind of also hers, just because me and her share that. But yes, hopefully you did enjoy. I know Olive did. She's very excited. Even Frank's having a good time right now. You can't see him, but he's rolling around in front of me because he knows that he's probably gonna get a treat and some toys too, so. Yes, hopefully you'd enjoy. It's the last day, day 24. Tomorrow is it, then uh, the series is over. So not only do I hope you enjoyed this video, but I hope you enjoyed the series. I spent a lot of time on it. It's been really fun. Obviously some days are better than others, just like everything in life. But nonetheless, I had a good time and I hope you did too. And I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye-bye.